what do you dream of being? Think about it. What do you dream of being? How how difficult is it to accomplish that? It has its difficulties and it has its troubles. But you know what the biggest difficulty of all is? When you fall into the wrong following. When you choose to follow in something that you just doesn't have anything to do with what you want to be. What you dream of being. Because what you dream of being is it's enlightening. It's amazing. The fact that it contains no law. Now, if you can share what you dream to be with the world without the loss to others, think about it. On loss to yourself, what can you accomplish? You can accomplish being what you dream. And what do you dream to be? I mean, it's probably something amazing. Or something simple. Probably a combination of both. And you can create that. You can be what you want to be. You can accomplish what you dream to be if you keep from the path of law. If you fall down a path of loss, then you're not going to accomplish what you dream to be because you've now chosen to be something else. If you keep in your mind what you dream to be, though, and keep going after it, are you not being what you dream to be? Are you not accomplishing what you dreamed and what you sought? The rest of the world might not recognize you right away. The rest of the world might not even notice you. But if you keep going after it, you keep on accomplishing what you dream to be, and doing what you want to do, and being who you want to be, over the obstacles and through the woods, what have you found yourself at when in the end? Even if none of the rest of the world recognizes it, what have you found in the end? You've reached what you wanted to be. You've lived your life the way that you wanted to live it. And that's worth something in itself. Think about how much that is worth. Think of all the times in your life where you haven't lived where you wanted to be. Think of all the times that you have. Now, if you keep on going after what you want to be and doing what you want to be and being what you want to be in life, think of all the times ahead that you will be of what you dream, where you have succeeded at what you wanted to be. And remember how good that felt? Remember how bad it felt when you weren't? The choice is up to you to be what you want to be or not to be what you want to be. But I know you can do it. Because only you can. Because the plans and the illustrations and all the designs, they lie only in one place. In you. As mine do in me. So dream on and live those dreams. Succeed at what you want to be. Formulate a plan and design what you want to be and implement it. Create what the world, create from, the, from yourself the world you seek. If you can't find the resource, create it. Find another resource that is similar to it. You shall succeed if you keep on trying. I haven't succeeded at all what I dream to be. I haven't succeeded at all. At everything I want to be. But I'm getting started. Every day is a step in the right direction. Just like every day is a step in the right direction for you. If you choose to be what you dream. And not what you don't. So go after your dreams. And accomplish them. So I can't wait to see them materialize. Because they're a surprise. I don't know what you dream, but I'm sure it's good for everyone. Unless it's one of loss, which is a dark dream, a nightmare. And those are always times where you don't like what you've done. So that's not really a dream, is it? But what is a dream? So dream on and accomplish those dreams. They can't wait to see you shine. See, see you succeed. Because it's worth it. Your words. Thank you for your time. Christopher David Clayton of the United Unified Belief.